Let's uh, let's look at this uh, result. Uh, not very good result for Colombia and and uh, and Poland, which is coming up after this. But uh, hard for draw, entertaining football, and that that's that's nice to see two teams going hard at each other. Uh, not exactly too much difference in class. Very even contest. Yeah, and I think t I I mean I was reading uh, an article today actually. You know, there's a lot of stereotypical comments about African teams: physical, pace, power. But I think, you know, Senegal, technically, they were very, very good today. You know, they combined well. They, they tried to link up play. Um, of course, Mane's goal was a little bit fortunate. But the goal that they actually scored came from a good combination down the left side and, and a great finish on the right-hand side by Wagi. And, of course, Japan, we all know in the region of Asia, you know, we know what they're about. They are very systematic. They are technically gifted, well-balanced, good athletes also. And they are thinking. You know, they're thinking players, they're thinking group because of the structure that they have in the country. Although most players play abroad, mm -hmm. they are still coming through this system of youth development. So, so for me, it was a re really, really good game to watch. And what I really liked about the way Japan played is that they're carrying the flag for Asia in a sense. And so are Senegal, in fact, for Africa. And even though they went behind, they didn't lose their spirit and in fact the last goal uh, the second last goal which was scored in the match came against the run of play because Japan was so dominant till then yeah. that they conceded but then you had uh, the grand old man Honda coming on and scoring in his third successive World Cup so I uh, really impressed with the way they've been playing yeah you know they they've got they've got top players you know you it's hard for Asians to go into Europe. I think we all know this. And, and there's an abundance of Japanese players that play in not just European leagues, but top European leagues and top European teams. And every time that they do play, although they carry that flag, as you said, regardless of sometimes it could be a little bit of commercial value involved, you know, they do come up. Kagawa was at Manchester United many years at Dortmund. Nagatomo, thankfully for him, bringing that ball down for Japan's first goal has been at Inter Milan for many years. And the goal scorers, both Honda and Inui, they've played at AC Milan respectively mm. and played in, uh, played in Spain and Germany also. So, you know, you can't take that away from them. Yes, and anyone would die to play in AC Milan, in Germany and even in Spain with Ibar, as, as you were telling me. So, a quite pulsating encounter that in Ekaterin Burke ahead of the meeting between the two pre-tournament favourites from the group. And uh, the draw is something that will please both the Polish and Colombian camps as they prepare to battle in Kazan. Japan and Senegal do move to four points, but both significantly, this is for the other two teams, remain within the reach of the team sitting at the bottom. The initial setup stays the same for both Poland and Colombia. If there is a loser tonight, that tournament will be over. A draw, though, could make things incredibly interesting heading into Thursday's group finale.